New details now about a hit and run that left a 13 year old riding his bike seriously injured. Troopers say the car believed to have been involved was found in a Seminole County neighborhood. News 6's Nadine Yanis joins us now live in Nadine. A crime line tip led troopers to a car they think is involved in this. And FHP is so thankful for any of those tipsters out there, Ginger. They say within two days of the crash, they started getting tips into Crime Line, and it was one call that led them to a car in a Seminole County neighborhood that FHP believes could could have been involved. They have to do some processing on that. Yet FHP also crediting the media for keeping the story out there, while the mother of this boy is crediting that tipster for having courage to come forward tonight. It's not easy. And to just see him in the pain, in the agony. Mom Tammy Lochner bows her head as the tears come down outside of Arnold Palmer Hospital, where her 13 year old son Cody, who she says was left to die in a hit and run, is still recovering today. He's out of ICU. He's a step up. It's called CCU and it's still a struggle. But what makes today a little easier is knowing troopers are one step closer to finding the driver. Finding the car they say may have been involved two days after News 6 first showed you this video, which shows Cody and his friends on their bike trying to cross Alafaya Trail against traffic. Cody gets all the way to the end, just out of frame when he was hit. Another camera further down Alafaya Trail caught what troopers believe is the suspect vehicle driving off. The 911 calls then began coming in. Somebody got hit on the bike about 60 miles per hour, a small white sedan, hit and run. His arm is broken. Stop moving. Please, baby, you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to get hurt. No more than you hurt. Okay. His whole head is busted open. Please. Okay, there you go. Please, there, there And so FHP says they still have to have forensics on this car they believe might have been involved. They are working on a search warrant for that, though they say it is promising. We're going to take a deeper look into the FHP investigation in this crash and hear more from the mom on what she has to say about this tipster coming forward in my story tonight at 5 o'clock. Ginger, back to you. Nadine Yanis reporting live. Nadine, thank you.